Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum. Our very special guest today, Will Johnson, is back with us, a friend of ATP, the founder of UniteAmericaFirst.com. Welcome, Will Johnson. Hey, thanks for having me, sir. It's a pleasure. So let's kick it off with the greatest movie ever made, according to most people, Gone with the Wind. Uh, in present day dollars, it's the biggest grossing movie of all time. It's one of the most watched movies in world history. Um, when it was first released, besides setting the all time record for attendance and gross, it had uh, the record for Academy Award wins and nominations. Uh, unbelievable for acting, directing, um, art history, etc. Uh, the first Academy Award to go to uh, a black woman in American history. And now it's been banned for being racist. And it's no longer going to be shown until it has a proper introduction. What are your thoughts on American culture in regards to Gone with the Wind, Will? You know, this is completely ridiculous. After all of these years, now all of a sudden they have an issue with Gone with the Wind. You know, they're not stopping with Gone with the Wind either. They're going out there, Ain't Your Mama Pancakes, uh, Uncle Ben. It's, it's never ending with the, with the left. You give them an inch, they take two miles now. It used to be one mile. But, you know, I've seen Gone with the Wind. I didn't even look at it as something as being racist. It actually showed how our history for, for America, you know, it's a great depiction of American history and we should just leave it at that. Leave it as a movie, something that was, you know, entertaining, something that we could possibly learn from, but the left, they can't do that. They have to take it and say, oh my goodness. You know why? Because it showed the truth of the Democrats, how they were then and how they are now and they're trying to rewrite history and change it. You know, you make an interesting point, and, and let's veer off topic for a second. I, you just said something that's so historically accurate that I don't understand why it doesn't get talked about, especially in politics today. The Democrats did not want the, the slaves free. The Republicans did. The Democrats were members of the Ku Klux Klan, not the Republicans. The lynchings were done by Democrats, not the Republicans. Each right given, whether it was voting or slavery or Jim Crow, those were all race, terribly racist policies of the Democrat Party. How is that not being publicized today? You know, that's, a, that's I see, that's the exact issue, right? The Democrats know that all these Confederate statues uh, that shows how the Democrats were and how they are, I'm still saying that's how they are. They're just trying to cover it up. They're trying to remove the statues so people don't see them and out of sight, out of mind. And, you know, the Democrats, they are the ones who wanted to enslave black people. Not a single Republican owned a slave. Not a single one. The Republicans, they originally did the whole reparations for African Americans at the time when they were free slaves in, in what, 1866, where the Democrats reversed it. Actually, it was 1865 when they first did reparations. In 1866, the Democrats reversed it because of Andrew Johnson. But, you know, we, we see the same thing over and over coming out of the Democrats, and they believe that the American people are really dumb enough to believe that they were not the party of slavery. That's what they're trying to change. They don't want people to realize it. And they're attacking our history for that very reason, so they can change it and convince more people to stick with them. Well, let's, let's talk about censorship first in art, and then we'll talk about what's going on with the statues. And a family favorite for my children growing up was this show, Cops. I don't know if you ever saw it, you know, bad boys, bad boys, mm -hmm. what you're going to do. That's been taken off the air because it shows police in a positive doing light, job. right? They're doing their job. <laughs> yeah, protecting whites, blacks, yellows, greens, whatever, Yes. from crime, and they usually solve the crime at the end. 
Why is that offensive? Well, the right now, the left, they're trying to remove police officers out of the way so that way they can just create havoc throughout the entire nation. That's why you have them defunding police officers or police departments throughout the country now in LA, Minneapolis, uh, Seattle. They're doing this because they want the total chaos to take place. So that way they can turn around and point it at President Trump and say, look, this is because of President Trump. Not knowing, most people not knowing that it starts with the mayor and then the governor. If the mayor can't bring civility to the city, then it goes up to the governor. And if the governor can't do it, then it goes to the president. But see, they're passing all of that and going directly to President Trump because they want President Trump to look like he's not doing a good job. Let's, let's talk about American history that we touched on a second ago. You're seeing statues every day being attacked. Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. the guy that freed slaves yes. and, and emancipated them. George Washington, the founder of the country, Thomas Jefferson, who wrote maybe the most brilliant document ever, the Declaration of Independence, and on and on and on the statues are coming down. In fact, it's so pervasive, statues honoring, for example, black volunteers in the Union Army that fought the South to free the slaves, yes. those statues have been destroyed. Yes. What is possibly behind the idea of every statue coming down, whether it's a good guy, a bad guy, or do they just not even know what they're doing? Well, in order for them to rewrite the history, you have to remove not only the Confederate statues, but you have to remove the statues that represented the end of slavery. For example, Abraham Lincoln. There's a lot of people out there right now that's under the impression that Abraham Lincoln was a Democrat because he freed the slaves. And the Democrats are running with that story. I'm telling you, I, you, you, when you tell that to a lot of people, they're like, what, what? Lincoln was not a Democrat, he was a Republican, but they have this narrative, they have this agenda to rewrite the history. And I've, I can't tell you how many people that I've talked to that actually believe that Abraham Lincoln was a Democrat because he freed the slaves. They have this whole thing to deceive people, to have people believe that the Democrat Party, they were for black people, which was not true at all. The Democrat Party was the party of Jim Crow. They, were, they are the party of the KKK. They are the party that was against civil rights. They're the party that didn't even want women to vote, let alone black people. They, that is who they are, but they're trying to change the history. So you have to remove all of the statues because if you have a statue up that's of Abraham Lincoln that freed the slaves and they're saying, okay, here's the statue where they freed the slaves, but where's the statue of the one that didn't? And they say they want to put it in the museum, but you know, once they put those Confederate statues in the museum, the very next day, oh, the museum is closed due to maintenance. <laughs> I'm you telling you, that's exactly how it's going to play out. <laughs> you, you might be right. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report. Well, tell, them, tell our audience how to find you, please. If you go to UniteAmericaFirst.com, you can find me and find out all the information about me and all of the social media platforms that I'm on. Excellent. Thanks again. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, please go pull out your cell phone, get a blank text message, send the word truth to 88202 and push send, you'll be signed up for our free text message service. Never a charge. You'll get an episode every couple of days and you don't have to do anything but look down into your hand. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.